Where's the Sonic 3 or Sonic CD laughing when you need it? <laughs> so, uh, hey, you know how you know how in Sonic One you can run past this platform and go to a shortcut down there? I was about to bring that up. If you look down, you can't see it, but there's spikes. <laughs> there's spikes down what there. Joiks! What joiks these guys are? Yeah, they're not going to give you an easy way out, guys. Also, there's a light speed dash path. I don't know where it goes, because I never got this far as Sonic. <laughs> Might I suggest playing through a third time this shadow? No. That's too edge for me. But, but his double jump could be useful here. Mm, no, too much edge. But, but the double jump, he <laughs> is the ultimate life. <laughs> this is who he is! No, no. He's, he has too much edge, Austin. So apparently, in uh, in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, the bubbles in this level spawned slower than they did in uh, the original Labyrinth Zone. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that uh, continues to be the case in this version or not, but uh, I'm not going to take chances. <laughs> also, they're doing the, uh, the, the um, well, Marble Zone. I don't remember what Marble Zone was called in this game. But they're doing that again, except with a water shield instead of a fire shield, so that's fun. Dark Fortress. Yeah, I guess that's it. I have a pain for you, Dad. Cool. I couldn't hear a word that you said, so I'm guessing the audience probably couldn't either. Ah, well. You see. Uh, dark Labyrinth Zone. Painfully bad memory. What was I talking about? Something. I hamsters. Oh, I love hamsters. Everyone loves hamsters. If you don't love hamsters, you you should burn. Yeah, in, in flaming napalm electric you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think we were talking about Gundam Tanaka. And, uh, how he has, uh, four hamsters, and that makes him great. Everyone should play Danganronpa. Not Danganronpa, what's it called? Danganronpa. That's the one. I have not had to enunciate a name for any game in a very long time. Sorry, that talk! <laughs> Sorry, Megamix! Danganronpa! Anyway. <laughs> We don't have enough uh, rings to activate our water shield yet, so I'm gonna probably just be getting air bubbles for a little while. What is with that dance he has on the edges of... <laughs> like, every single time he gets there, he's like... Doo, 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 doo. I don't know, man. I love it. I love oh, it. Oh, and that just sends you right into ring, into spikes. Why? Uh, because Sonic Megamix. That's why. I bet you could have avoided that if you had a double jump. No. <laughs> Oh, and I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed this. Notably, ah, uh, actually, Shadow's double jump slows him down. Oh. I like that. Although, I, it does beg the question, it's like, what's the difference between Shadow and just having a lightning shield? Uh, I mean, you don't always have a lightning shield. That's fair. And rings draw aren't drawn out. Yeah. Uh, is this... Oh, this isn't the end. Oh. This looks like the end. Yeah, it's not quite the end, but we're getting there. If the if the slowdown doesn't happen, <laughs> that would be great. Done. 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 Notably, Done. this level Done. does not suffer as much slowdown as uh, the original water levels did. It uh, has to do with the background, I would assume. Yeah, I'm the... pretty sure it does. The complicated background was meant to be handled by the Sega CD, which, it being an add-on, just had that little bit more processing power, at least a more direct processing power. Whereas this game is like, oh, so, so, uh, Sonic 1, you can handle this, right? It's kind of the same mistake they made with Sonic Genesis, only not quite as egregious. Yeah. Except Sonic the Genesis. Game Boy Advance had more power than the Sega Genesis did. Oh! It's worth noting, Stealth, the guy in charge of this project, also was the guy who made the absolutely amazing um, Sonic Genesis Done Right, which was specifically designed to run on Game Boy hardware and had absolutely no problems whatsoever. And just goes to show that... Uh, Whoever Genesis was making that game really did not care. Exactly. No, it's less than not caring. It would have to be like either sabotage or they seriously thought that people would love the weird... Whoa, that's weird design. Speaking of weird design. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, he, he just recreated the game from the ground up, um, built it as the Game Boy Advance running the 16-bit uh, the, uh, engine, 
and I forget exactly how he pulled it off because I don't know the technicals behind it, but it ran perfectly and Sonic had the spin dash. So, yeah. so boo on these people. Yeah. Not these people who made this game on, on the Sonic Genesis people. Yeah. Who on that? And, uh, yeah, they're throwing lots of shields at us, despite the fact this is a water level. And if we touch the water with any of these shields, we're gonna lose them. So that's kind of a move. Oh, oh, I didn't get hit by that. That was weird. Looking back, I'm only just realizing that the elemental shields really never got a final chance to stretch. That the hurts road. me with a fire shield. Fire shield does not block that. What is it supposed to be? I have. I thought it was fire, but apparently I was wrong. Also, we're at the final fight now. Oh, they didn't change the name of this. I guess not. not. The uh, the um, sequential confrontation. The oh, I don't have good names. For this. Oh, Whoa, couldn't I hit forgot. that. Also, this boss battle is a lot harder now, because uh, you don't have a floor, instead you have some moving platforms. It really just moves, removes your opportunity to attack, which I think is fine. I actually it really also like it. makes it easier for the top crushers to hit you. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The uh, only problem is I forget if one of the formations is having both right or both left pistons come down to crush you. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually seen that, now I think about it. Yeah, I'm trying to think myself. Why are his eyes red? Uh, cause he's really angry. Ah, of course. He is having an angry guys. Also, sometimes it's possible to bounce off of Robotnik and then fall into the endless pit. It's also possible to hit him twice mm. on the uh, final hit. That's a, that's an old glitch that happens in Sonic One. If you're frame perfect about it, hitting Robotnik, uh, you know how he goes back in slower on his final hit. Yeah. If you can get a, a ninth hit on him, his counter actually resets, and you have to hit him another 255 times in order to uh, kill him. Oh! Yeah. Good. Fun, fun, fun fact about that, actually, in Sonic 3, all those times you come across Robotnik where you can hit him, but can't actually uh, destroy him no matter how many times you hit him, like when he steals the Master Emerald, you can, in those cases, hit him... 256 times if you are um, hacking, obviously, and Whoa! deal. That that was close. Um, and and you de if you can deal all that damage to him, he will fall apart and break the game because he's not supposed to break. He's not supposed to be defeated there. Yeah. So the game just how to handle it. So the game just kind of glitches out with all the sprites. I remember that this boss battle felt really awkward whenever I played it as Shadow all those years ago. Whenever I was originally playing this game. Ah, so you did have edge. At, At one, one point. time. Yes, but I lost my edge because uh, Kirby. <laughs> Who needs edge whenever you have Kirby? Oh, good, I beat him on my oh, first try. I mean, they became invisible. That was terrifying. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so there it is. So the one time I almost got the good ending in Sonic 1, I ran at Robotnik there, hit him, and then proceeded to fall off the edge. Oh, that's good. So guys, uh, that that's been Sonic Mega Mix. We did oh, it. I only just I only just realized that the uh, blue emerald is mighty colored now. Oh, cool. So this this is I mean there there are some issues with this game, but it's still pretty fun. <laughs> it's it's interesting to me that um they would go out of their way that I mean it's just a basic ROM hack really. Color scheme changes takes a lot of the concepts thrown into all three of the Mega Drive games and makes them unique and interesting and fun. And why are you going backwards to the stage? No, don't go backwards to the yeah, stage, Demo uh, Man! Whoever is playing as Mighty in these cutscenes is very incompetent. I think that might be the same inputs for all three characters. That might be part of why that's mm, a problem. I see. Just because it is based off the Sonic 1 thing. That yeah. would have probably have been him charging up some kind of Super Peelad or something. Yeah. Uh, same thing happened in Sonic Genesis, interestingly enough. Yeah. If, um, since since they just used the inputs from the original game, it, the inputs didn't match with the broken physics. Yep. So, uh, so fun stuff happened. But uh, yeah, I mean, I still really like this game. It is free, so it's not like you're going to be paying anything for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ob obviously, any complaints I have are simply, you know, compared to standards like, say, Sonic after the sequel. Mm -hmm. um, games that really feel like they belong in the Sonic series. Whereas this is a game 
that happens to be a Sonic fan game, that's really fun. Yeah. And that's about it. Um, I feel like it is a good omen for the uh, the Sonic game that's going to be coming out, Sonic Mania. Oh yeah, especially after seeing the um, the newer stuff uh, that was supposed to make it into this. You can sort of see how Sonic Mania is a, um, a follow-up to this, in a sense. Yeah. A, a what we wanted to do all those years ago. Mm -hmm. Back whenever Sonic 06 was coming out. <laughs> oh, <yeah. sighs> uh... Speaking of... Did you get the impression that the um, the uh, trailer bit for Project 17 um, looked a lot like the opening teaser for Sonic 06? Um, I guess there's fire. There's fire. Well, there was no fire in the original opening teaser. That was the one where Sonic got shot and died. Oh. But the model looks exactly the same. A lot of his mannerisms and the, the, the stuff he's pulling off is exactly the same. So it's, it's pretty cool. Interesting. Well, anyway, I think that that's going to be about it for this series. <laughs> sure. So, with that said, I've been Mr. Game Pie. And I've been Austin on Sugar. And we'll see you next time. And remember to stay sufficiently awesome. Oh, what fan game are we going to do next? None. Darn. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>